Today's story is about a dead baby in a suitcase. And how did this involve Padre Pio? So what on earth is going on in this situation? Was it an act of jealousy and foul play? Or just plain simple love gone wrong? Do stay tuned for the story. Good evening friends, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this channel on our great saint Padre Pio, who was a Capuchin friar and a mystic and a tremendous miracle worker. So do stay tuned to find out more about Padre Pio and also to see what his intercession could do for you. We encourage everyone to be part of our Padre Pio apostolate. Be tremendous if you would help us by liking the video and sharing this video with friends, colleagues, anyone who may benefit. Also, just a quick note that we have a Mass celebrated every Friday in which we bring your intentions in this Mass to Padre Pio. To have your intentions included, just enroll them and you can see the video on the end screen how to do that. Now, as we said in this story, it's about a dead baby in a suitcase. Something hard to imagine, but this is what took place and it happened in San Giovanni Rotundo. But let's go back to the beginning of the story. There was a baby just six months old whose health was always very precarious and now this little child was nearing death. The mother had done everything she could, naturally speaking, but she also was a lady of great faith. And so she thought that perhaps she can take the baby to Padre Pio and Padre Pio could then intercede with God for a cure. And so she set about doing this. It's a long distance from where she stayed to St. Giovanni Rotundo. The lady took her courage in her hands and she headed out. She boarded the train to St. Giovanni Rotundo together with the baby in her hands, in her arms. But things did not go well on this journey and the baby's health began to worsen. This tiny, innocent little baby, sickly baby, died within its mother's arms during the journey. And so she was now in the state of desolation, desperation, not knowing what to do. She wrapped the little baby, the little body in some clothes and then placed this, all of this into a suitcase. It's a fiber type of suitcase. I'm not sure if it was breathable or not. And then she continued the journey. She was going to complete this journey no matter what. And when she arrived in St. Giovanni Rotundo, she proceeded to the church and she ran up the stairs together with a suitcase in her hand. She joined the confession queue. She waited in the queue patiently. Her turn finally came and then she threw herself at Padre Pio's feet, crying pitifully. And she opened the suitcase for Padre Pio to see what had happened. Dr. Sanguinetti, who was the chief physician at the hospital, he was there present and he was horrified when he witnessed this. Because if this baby had not already died from the illness, then the baby would have died from suffocation in the suitcase. However, for Padre Pio, the sight of this dead baby, it made him turn absolutely pale and he was gripped with emotion and empathy for this lady, for the mother. And so he turned his eyes towards heaven and he prayed for some moments pleading with God. And thereafter he turned towards the mother and said, Why are you crying so loudly? Can't you see your son is sleeping? So this may sound familiar. Our Lord used exactly the same words in the gospel. She turned to the baby, to her son, and it was true. The baby was there sleeping peacefully. Of course, the happiness of the mother was beyond description and her cries of joy were witnessed by everyone who was present in the church at the time. And so in this story, we behold this bond, this incredible bond that God has given to the family, how deep the bond is and what a treasure this little child was to this lady, a lady of pure faith who would stop at nothing to save her child. Next time we'll be having another story on Padre Pio, so do join us for that story. And if you're not receiving notifications of our stories as they come out in, on YouTube, then you must be subscribed to this channel. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed. And also make sure that you are, you have to click that little 
reminder bell once you've subscribed to receive notifications in future. So please do just check both of those and we hope to see you next time.